John Higgins. I am a creative director here at uh, Cartoon Network, and I was hired to create an action franchise that eventually became Toonami. And to my left <laughs> is Jason DeMarco, also creative director, who was hired by Sean to work on Toonami. Suspended somewhere in time and space. All strong, all brave, all hero. Many years ago, I was approached by Mike Lazo and he had an afternoon franchise that he wanted to uh, do something with. I think it was called Super Adventures at the time. We worked for about eight months to ten months in development of an idea and eventually that idea turned into what is Toonami. Take heed. Your tampering with nature and danger thousands of lives. Excellent. Takes you back, doesn't it? Well, Jason says he just made up the name too. That's true. I don't think that's true. My contention is that I thought of that name, but uh, Sean disagrees. But either way, regardless of who thought of it, Sean recognized that it was a great From name. a conversation <laughs> amongst several creative people, Jason certainly was a heavy contributor to that conversation. Anyway, Sean, either way, recognized that that was a, a good a good name, and he put that on his short short list of names that he liked, and brought that to Mike Lazo. He picked that. Yeah, he, he picked that name. That name's fun. That right. name will work. Yeah, he picked that name after saying that we were not allowed to use Tune in any name. Right. That was the name he <laughs> then immediately chose from the list. Tom, 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 and Tom. That's a lot of hosts. Tom's just the Toonami Operations Module. Uh, it's an acronym. I mean, we thought of a million. It was Adam for a second. It was Tom. We just wanted a, a, a short monosyllabic human name. Like, we wanted, like, a real person's name since we couldn't. He was a visor-faced dude. We couldn't. You couldn't look him in the eye. And we thought it was important to, to humanize him a little bit so that you could kind of connect to him a little bit easier. So that's where we started down the road of like, you know, kind of boy names or real names. And then in the early days, an old friend of mine used to chase a, uh, a crazy punk rock band around called the Mekons. And the bass player's name is Sarah. And one of the songwriters' name is Tom. And they were always together. So it was Tom and Sarah, Tom and Sarah, Tom and Sarah, Tom and Sarah. Totally not connected to anything. But I was just always, like, I just heard those two names together for so long. I, I think that's the reason that it happened. All right, Tom, we're ready. I love this job. Started with Sunny, Sunny Stiff. No, it's a brand new tsunami, but the mission objectives remain the same. My name is Tom. Who was uh, Krillin on Dragon Ball? So we thought, well, this guy sounds young. He's a good tie-in because you know he's a voice on one of our biggest shows. So we worked with Sunny for a while, and then Tom is dead. Enter Tom Two. We killed. Tom 1 and Tom 2 came out. Sean was a big fan of changing up the voice, changing up the look, you know. So another Toonami employee and I were watching Cowboy Bebop at the time, and when we heard the first English dub, we were like, that guy, that guy's awesome. He's cool. What if we hired Spike? And really all we cared about was that he played Spike. But Steve ended up just really getting it in a way that no one else had gotten it. Tom? We're back. Just headed back to the bridge for the big finale. Peter Cullen uh, was is the, just awesome. Yeah, he was the voice of the open of Voltron. We knew we wanted to cut like trailers, and we knew we needed to have this big, booming, like powerful uh, voice. We come to herald the beginning of a new age. A lot of these guys won't read slang, and they won't do the real like conversation. We we, we were almost we almost took that huge announcer thing and tried to turn it upside down a little bit and have him say you know, colloquialisms and ain'ts yeah. and stuff that they're technically not supposed to say. And he always was uh, kind of into that. And he thought it was cool. Get ready for actions, hair apparent. Bo -bo 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 -bo. I don't know that he necessarily totally could see he the whole picture, be. but he could deliver those lines just straight up like it was the most serious thing in the world. And it was awesome. He would, he would very much enjoy the curveballs. <laughs> For the opportunity that we have and what we ended up doing, um, lights out home run. I wouldn't imagine uh, a success like that could ever be paralleled again. Until we meet again, stay gold.
thanks for hanging with Toonami for 12 years if you did, or for five minutes if you did that. And we really appreciate all you guys, and uh, you're the reason we did it. So we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Check. Flash.